Hey guys, welcome to Dedicated and in this video I want to show you top 5 places to visit on the big island of Hawaii. So we recently went on vacation to Hawaii and my wife uh, did a lot of research on all the places she wants to visit and being that I love to record stuff I decided to document and share it with you guys. So let's begin. So the first place we visited was called the Palulu Valley. It is on the north tip of the island. I recommend you get there early enough to where you can park. You park at the top and then you can hike down to the valley, to the bottom of the valley where there's a black sand beach. And parking is pretty much right on the street. There's like a dead end in the street and there isn't really a lot of room. So if you come early enough, you'll be all right. The beach area is very scenic. You can see the valley and just the scenery. There's a few swings there and just a, a really cool place to hang out. While it was still not hot, we decided to go continue along the beach and there's another scenic point on top of the mountain that we wanted to check out. Along the beach, there's this trail that basically takes you up the mountain to where that scenic point is and you go through different terrains. At one point, it literally felt like a jungle, but the overall hike wasn't too bad. This is another reason why going in the morning is a good idea, because it's not as hot. The hike was definitely worth it, and the view was breathtaking. Um, as you can see, there's this bench that you could sit on and take a break, uh, and just basically just enjoy the atmosphere. On the way back we decided to spend more time on the beach and since the sun was out and it was warm the, act, the water was actually pretty warm to where you could swim. Unfortunately we didn't have our swimming gear with us but uh, we did take a stroll on the beach which was really nice and as you can see the sand is black here which is pretty cool on the way back from Palulu Valley we stopped by the Waiopo Valley which was really close to it and as you can see it's another scenic point uh, that you can come and look at there is a trail but it's more advanced and we were already tired as it is we didn't we didn't go down to the valley at number two we have the Volcanoes National Park here we spent an entire day the park is huge and there's a lot to see there. Uh, first we stopped by the Kilaue Caldera. It's the main volcanic crater. They say about a year ago this was filled with lava all the way to the brim. That you can basically walk around the crater and certain parts have like little trails with trees and stuff. Very jungle-like experience. Driving through the park, we also stopped by the Kiloaki Crater, which you can actually hike on. There's a trail that takes you down to the bottom of it. We didn't do that on this trip, but they say this volcano was formed uh, about 50 years ago. So next, we drove down to the ocean side to see the Holy Sea Arch. Um, this sea arch was made by the volcanic lava. On the drive there, it took some time to get down the mountain. Um, so the drive was maybe 20 minutes or so, maybe more, I don't remember. But this, the drive was very scenic. We made a couple stops. Um, the, rock, the lava rocks everywhere were very interesting to see. And just the, the landscape was really cool to see. Uh, once on the bottom, there's a short walk to, to the edge of where you can actually see the Holy Sea Arch. The old lava everywhere reminded me of like Big Fudge Brownie. It was very fascinating to see like the texture of it and how it formed. Um, the Holy Sea Arch is about 90 foot tall. Uh, it's a natural arch that was formed by volcanic lava. Yeah, so it was very cool to see that. Coming in at number three, we have uh, Captain Cook's Monument. As you can see, you park on the street, so I recommend you come there early enough to where there's not packed. Plus, you want to avoid the heat. Hani, how you feel? It's 
smile for camera. Or wave. The hike is about 1.8 miles down to where you can snorkel at the Captain Cook Monument. And the hike itself was very cool. It was very jungle-like. It was lots of grass. Uh, felt like you were in the middle of the jungle at one point. point. Um, there's also a very scenic, breathtaking view. As you can see, this was the most inexpensive way uh, to get there. You could get there by a boat or a kayak, like a rental, but we decided to hike down there. We completely underestimated this hike because hiking down there was fine, but hiking up was painful because it was around 2 o'clock. We only packed very limited of food and limited of water when we got there. So our resources were depleted and when it's it was time to head back, we kind of ran out of water and it was 2 o'clock during the day, so it was really hot. And on top of that, we were carrying our snorkeling gear, towels, so it was very exhausting, but uh, it was definitely worth it. It made the trip more memorable this way, I guess. And the snorkeling there is really nice too, and just the cool atmosphere at the monument. At number four, we went to Akaka Falls State Park. This was a much easier park compared to the monument. There is an actual parking lot, so I don't think you have to come early unless you want to. Probably spent in maybe a couple hours there total, maybe not even. It took us about an hour to two to get there, depending on where you're located on the island. The park is very kid family friendly. You basically, it's a paved trail with some stairs up and down, and it's maybe a 10 minute walk to, to get to the waterfall from the parking lot. Um, and that includes taking pictures. Regardless, the waterfall was very scenic and really cool to see and take some pictures. And saving the best for the last number five we went to the green sand beach this was probably one of our favorite experiences this was uh, a, a whole day event basically get there and you park your car and it's about a 2.2 mile hike to the actual beach where the green sand is uh, now they do offer the locals offer offer shuttles which weren't free uh, they're like $20 a person uh, originally we wanted to take a shuttle just to save time but since we were the only two there they wanted us to wait for more people to come to get like a group thing so we got tired of waiting after 15 minutes we just decided to walk ourselves there because the weather was nice and it was early enough to where it wasn't super hot so we decided to walk there the trail itself is very dusty uh, but it's along the shore so there's a, a breeze plus it's a a nice view as well but very desert like uh, environment kind of reminded me of maybe like the state of Utah or something I mean I've never been there but based on the pictures the beach itself once you get there was very beautiful it's surrounded by these two cliffs and we actually ended up swimming there so you have to hike down to get to the beach and then there's a lot of people swimming there uh, but I do warn you that if you're not a good swimmer maybe don't go in too deep because the waves were pretty big but overall it was very fun experience for both me and my wife and she's not the, the best swimmer but she was fine since I was with her definitely recommend this to anyone who's going to be visiting the big island of Hawaii. Anyways, thanks for watching my top five things to do in, on the big island of Hawaii. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Let us know which, which one was your favorite uh, in the comments below and I'll see you next time.